These are the most talked about teenagers in the world today. Olivia Hussey, just 16 years old. Leonard Whiting, just 17. Virtually unknown in the world of film until they were discovered and brought to Rome by Franco Zeffirelli to play the roles of the two most exciting lovers ever created, the teenage lovers of Verona. Romeo and Juliet, no ordinary love story. Undeniably teenagers. Bubbling with fun and part of today's love generation. to get the part of Juliet. I was terribly nervous and there were hundreds of girls there. Teenagers through the generations have always been the same, except that their parents have always kept them underhand. They are burning up with vitality, exuberant and playful. Always on the move, and yet finding time for more quiet pastimes. Romeo and Juliet, as created by Shakespeare, are teenagers. However, they've always been played by established stars of the theater at the peak of their maturity. I heard that Sarah Bernhardt played Juliet with a wooden leg over the age of 50. You're joking. No. <laughs> Franco Zeffirelli, one of today's most daring and controversial filmmakers, cast the roles as Shakespeare had intended. Teenagers who had both the emotional ecstasy of youth and the spirit of rebellion. All their feelings right on the surface, like many of our young people of today. It took hours of informal discussion on a secluded estate outside of Rome to establish the intimacy, the confidence, and the understanding that had to be achieved before production could start. And they couldn't accept the rules or the senseless violence and killing all around them. It is, in many ways, the same situation we have today. This Romeo and Juliet were of more than passing interest to the worldwide communications media because they seemed to represent youth's rebellion against the establishment of their day and of our own. Hang me, young baggage, disobedient wretch! I tell thee what, get thee to church on Thursday or never after look me in the face! No! 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 For months, every moment of the day was used. A thing I've noticed about Franco's stuff, it doesn't actually rely com completely on the dialogue. The, the dialogue allows, allows one to use action, which he does to, to its full effect, which is very important, of course, for filmmaking. When scenes required night shooting, the days were spent in rehearsal. exactly what he wants. cinematic scene was the exciting duel between Tybalt, the cat of the Capulet clan, and Romeo, son of the Montagues. Staged the most tender and touching moment of the play. I've more care to stay than will to go. Come, 
Death and welcome, Juliet wills it so. A boy and a girl, the now generation, with the rare depth of feeling that could span five centuries to bring to life the greatest love story of all time, Romeo and Juliet. No ordinary love story.